Casey, all the way from Canada, uh, showing us these lower drives that makes your turns your rig into a dual rotary rig. Uh, he's got more conversions out there than anybody, hands down, right? Oh yeah, oh, my, and, I guess yeah, yeah. And, and of then course. and then uh, and this is the ten inch one, and here's the eight inch one, and uh, and Massey's got us the the conversion from eight inch or ten inch all the way down with the wedge style of of uh, putting in the jaws is just slick look at that yeah. okay just uh, fits in there and and then that wedges down uh, tightens it up against the casing incredible this incredible. is incredible eight inch for the on the eight inch drive this is for eight inch casing right 10 inch casing for this one right and as longer they are for smaller no I just that just totally makes sense it's so simple uh, that's uh, very simple. Wow. So this one is Jacob Singley's, right? Yeah, this setup with brackets goes for SRAM T450. Jacob, Jacob. <laughs> um, I don't think this will fit on the airplane on the way home, buddy. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, by dual rotary, you can rotate yes. the casing. Yes. With, and with the hydraulic cylinders, you can pull up or pull down your casing independently from the okay. top drive. Okay, Simon, have you ever heard about that thing where you pat your head and you rub your tummy? Have you ever heard about that where you, you got to be coordinated that that coordinated? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think that. you have to be that coordinated to run these because you got your you got your uh, your uh, cl clockwise rotary yeah. drive and then you have your counterclockwise rotary drive. But it's so easier. It's so easy to achieve tough welds. So now your it. controls basically just go right above the controls. Yeah, depending on each rig. Let's say we put it there for for the shrams. Uh, uh huh. We adapt on the machine. This is a yes. lead gentry from Ridge Drill. Yes. So, and so some some of them go this way. Yeah. And then some of them go the other so way. The drill tech here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've done most of the popular model. Okay. And then and then you also supply the diverter. Yeah, because when you're rotating the casing on top, right. you need a discharge swivel. That's a a discharge and it's got to be swivel so then then the uh so then the casing comes up in there and that will clamp it and hold it yeah because of it which called a self-lock adapter okay so it, it locked to the casing got it and and th so there's hydraulic lines that go up to that too no hydraulics it's uh, just gravity and mechanic really yeah okay <laughs> so it's kind of like when you're raising your top drive to to wait for the casing yeah you have two chains on a Yes. V shape yes. attached here. Yes. So that's how this, the discharge go, come up. Okay. When you arrive with your casing underneath, uh -huh. you put the casing in and just see it's loose. Uh huh. And just by the gravity, it grips to the casing. Okay. Now I hear you. Okay. Yeah. And this is why I've got to come out and see some of these, and I'll be doing that uh, first part of next year. Okay. Good. Okay? okay. I will be doing that. Okay. Uh, I've got got all this together here. So then you end up with. Yeah, after it come out from a discharge swivel, uh -huh. you can or not, but we prefer to use a cyclone uh -huh. that direct the cuttings and you to measure the the flow rate of your right. well. It's easier. Right. Where we're from, all the hydrogeologists, uh, the regulators, the regulators. Uh -huh. I mean, if, uh, let's say you're working for a city and uh, on an open bid. Right. They insist we got to use this type of equipment for sampling. So let's say you're at 150 feet of casing because you're casing at uh, the same time you're drilling. Right. What's coming out of the cyclone is the sample from Haiti, the exact so then, depth. then if you need to, you go back inside of the steel casing with oh, yeah. a perforator and perforate wherever you By need to or what? People with DR doesn't really use perforator. Why because is that? Because it's so easy to pull back the casing. Oh, and then just so, put in the PVC, the oh, screen, screen, or a stainless, or, or the stainless steel screen, yeah, yeah. and then just pull it back. Yeah, perforator. Uh, to me, <laughs> <laughs> it was a, an old technology because now with the DR, it's so easy to pull back the casing. Well, see, and in, having in, access to the aquifer. In in our area, we end up with such thin little uh, lenses of water that we take a Milwaukee metal cutting saw and we'll cut some slits in the perf uh, in the steel pipe up about 10 feet below the the uh, casing advance system that we're using. Okay, and you do so it that, before? And we do that before because 
it allows us to see what we just drilled through water-wise. So as we go through the next layer, then, then we can see it. So I, I guess it kind of, because we might go through several of those real thin layers, but that's always an option. Probably uh, that's an option that right. I never, uh, I don't know what the DR guys do in this region, but I would say right. I would pull back and install a telescopic screen. Okay. Uh, number six six thousand slot probably a fine one or I'm right not so sure uh, we i would i would get to be there and sampling the the soil too so when the, you have your dr install i'll, I'll support you on that okay. <laughs> so so then you build a poly motorized spooler yeah that's uh as i said it's a uh, we're a drilling company pump installer uh-huh so what we made for us we well we think it's uh uh, fun to promote it and it's a yeah right. it's a pulley uh, and that's stainless steel right that's beautiful yeah it's stainless very steel nice. not fully uh, right. accomplished right it connect on the 12 volt vault uh, on the truck uh-huh so no more no uh, other energy than the pickup truck too. and for 50 percent of the guys on our group we forgive you no oh yeah 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 because it's for pulley uh, pulley connection <laughs> very good simon and thank you so much okay, man thank you. thank you so much